Somewhere along the way, finesse became a pejorative term in sports, particularly for NBA big men. Pau Gasol was tarred with that brush the last time the Lakers and Celtics hooked up in the NBA Finals. And even though Gasol has won a championship and become one of the most complete players in the NBA, a Lakers-Celtics rematch brought that characterization into focus one more time. But Thursday night in Game 1, Gasol not only buried that rap, he might have been the most aggressive player on the floor. He scored 23 points, grabbed 14 rebounds, and blocked three shots on a night when the Lakers thoroughly controlled the paint and the boards. Gasol outwitted and outmuscled his Celtics counterpart Kevin Garnett. Here, Garnett tries the old Rick Mahorn ploy of pulling the chair out, but Gasol is far too agile. He maintains his balance and gets the layup. And here he establishes inside position on Garnett on the glass and gets one of his eight offensive boards and another bucket underneath. More than anything, though, Gasol has a cerebral command of the game, applying whichever of his many skills a given possession requires. Just take a look. Gasol runs a high slip screen with Kobe Bryant. Seeing that Garnett is shading him while trying to cut off Bryant's route to the rim, Gasol fades to about 20 feet from the hoop along the baseline. Bryant gets him the ball. Gasol first buys some space with a little shot fake. Then when Tony Allen comes from the top side, Gasol spins baseline. Then he goes up strong with his right hand, a much harder shot for Garnett to contest. Soft touch and another two. And on this possession, Gasol lingers up top. Then just when Garnett drops off him to double Bryant, Gasol takes off for the rim. Bryant finds him. The turnaround lefty hook is no good, but finesse Gasol gives way to junkyard Gasol. He stays with it. No matter where Gasol set up, he made the Celtics pay. From the elbow, he showed no tentativeness whatsoever in taking Garnett off the dribble. One reason he earned 10 free throw attempts on the night. The same thing down on the low block, either contact or a quick strike. Remember that big block our test had on Glenn Davis in the fourth quarter? It was Gasol running the floor that capped the Lakers' emotional peak of the night. Gasol's offensive tools have never been under scrutiny. So what about the defense? Glad you ask. Gasol was repressive. In about a two-minute span toward the end of the first half, Gasol rejected three Celtic shot attempts. That first one was a Ray Allen jumper. Here's Gasol coming over from the weak side to cut off Rajon Rondo's baseline drive with a swat. Then about a minute later, he denies Garnett a turnaround jumper KG has hit thousands of times. Gasol played strong straight up Dion Garnett all night. Watch him here off the left block. The Lakers stay at home on their assignments as Gasol anticipates the baseline drive, cuts off any further encroachment into the paint by Garnett, then contests the fall away, staying perpendicular to the floor. Here's Celtics coach Doc Rivers after the game. I thought he was the best player on the floor at points tonight. I thought he made terrific plays, terrific passes, uh, shot when he should shoot. Um, so, yeah, he's better. He's far more aggressive. You know, listen, if you heard for two years what you couldn't do, you're probably going to come in um, and, and try to prove that. And I thought Gasol, he proved a lot tonight.